Welcome to Word 2007 Basic Level 1, brought to you by WordLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Ross. Today's class is designed for the novice user to get you up to speed quickly in Microsoft Word. In today's class, we will learn about the Word 2007 interface, including the menus, the ribbon, and the quick access toolbar. We will learn about entering and editing text and we'll see how Word will automatically check our spelling and grammar. We'll learn how to format text, including changing fonts, alignment, and color. We'll learn how to use the clipboard to cut, copy, and paste text in our documents. We'll see how to save our documents to the hard drive and load them back up again. We'll also see how to save copies of our documents with changes in them. Finally, we'll learn how to print our documents or send them as an email attachment. This lesson uses Microsoft Office Word 2007, also just called Word 2007. If you are using Word 2003 or earlier, you should visit my website and look for my Word 101 tutorial that covers these older versions. Before taking this course, it's strongly recommended that you take my Windows Vista 101 course. In Windows Vista 101, you'll learn the basics of using Windows, including how to log on, navigate using the mouse and keyboard, and launch programs on the Start menu. You'll also learn about the parts of a window, how to move, resize, maximize, and minimize a window, and how to use the scroll bars. If you don't know how to do any of the things I just mentioned, you really should consider taking Windows Vista 101 before taking this course. This is the basic level one course for Microsoft Word 2007. This is for the novice user who has little or no experience with Microsoft Word. We will cover the most basic features of Word and teach you just enough to create and edit simple documents effectively. Our goal for today is to get you up and running quickly with Microsoft Word. You will be able to write, edit, and format a simple business letter in about an hour. Our basic courses are designed for novice users who are new to Microsoft Word and just need to learn basic functionality. You will learn one good method for accomplishing most tasks and will save all the extraneous details for later. Our expert series is for users who are already comfortable with Word and want to learn more about the standard features and functions that most people use. We'll cover a lot of options, alternatives, shortcuts, tips and tricks, and really cover all the features of Word exhaustively. Our advanced series is designed to teach you all the lesser known features of Word, such as recording macros and creating data forms. These are features that not everyone uses on a daily basis, but can really add power to your documents. And finally, our developer series is designed to teach you how to program in Visual Basic for applications with Microsoft Word, to develop Word-based programs for your users, and integrate Word with other Office applications. Each of our series are broken down into different levels. For example, the basic series starts with level 1, that's this class, followed by level 2, then level 3, and so on. Each level teaches you new and different topics in Microsoft Word, building on the lessons learned in the previous levels. Now let's take a more detailed look at what we're going to learn in today's class. In Lesson 1, we're going to begin learning about the Word interface. We're going to learn how to start Microsoft Word. We'll learn about the title bar, the maximize and minimize buttons, the close button, and the office button. In lesson two, we're going to continue learning about the word interface. In this lesson, we're going to take a closer look at the ribbon. In lesson three, we're going to finish learning about the word interface. We'll learn about the quick access toolbar, the status bar, the zoom controls, the scroll bars, the document area, the mouse pointer, the insertion point, and moving the cursor. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to enter text into Microsoft Word. We'll start by writing a business letter. We'll learn about the spell check on the fly feature. And we'll learn about Word Wrap. 
In lesson 5, we're going to continue learning about entering text in Microsoft Word. We're going to learn how to use the tab key to indent your paragraphs. Learn about the wrong word form check and the grammar check. The backspace versus delete keys. And the end key shortcut. In lesson 6, we're going to learn about editing text. We're going to see how to split large paragraphs into two. I'm going to show you how to show and hide the paragraph symbols and other non-printable characters. We'll learn about hard returns and how to make two paragraphs into one big one. In lesson seven, we're going to continue editing text. We're going to learn how to create a bulleted list, adding a word to our custom spelling dictionary, and we're going to put a closing on our letter. In lesson eight, we're going to finish talking about editing text. We'll put to and from addresses at the top of our letter. I'll show you how to insert a line break instead of a paragraph break. We'll insert a horizontal line in our document. And we'll learn the difference between ignore and ignore all when it comes to spell check. In lesson nine, we're going to learn about formatting text. I'll show you how to select text with the mouse. We'll learn about the floating mini toolbar. We'll learn about bold and italics, how to align text right and center it, and how to change the font and font size. In lesson 10, we're going to learn how to use the clipboard. We're going to learn about cut, copy, and paste. And we're also going to learn about undo and redo. In lesson 11, we're going to learn about saving and loading documents. I'll show you how to save your document on your hard drive, load it back up again, and then save a copy of it with some changes. In lesson 12, we're going to learn how to print and email our documents. We'll go over the print dialog box, the different print options, quick print, print preview, and I'll show you how to send a document as an email attachment. If you need help with Microsoft Word, you can post your questions in our student forums. If you're watching this course using our video player software or in our online theater, then you should see the student forum pop up next to each video. Here you will see all of the comments and questions posted about each lesson in addition to my responses to them. Feel free to join in the discussion and post your own thoughts. To get the most out of this course, I recommend you sit back, relax, and watch each lesson through once without touching your computer. Then, watch the lesson a second time, following along with my examples. In today's class, we'll be creating a sample business letter. Take the time to actually write the same letter that I do. You'll get the most out of the lessons if you follow along with me. If you don't understand something, feel free to watch the lesson again or rewind to any point in the video. Most importantly, keep an open mind. New things are often confusing, and if there's something you don't understand at first, that's okay. Just be patient, and it will come to you eventually. Try your best, and if you still have questions, post them in the student forum.